So now we will start talking about how to combat the web spam. And the method we will talk about is called trust rank. So as we mentioned before, there are two types of web spam. There is the term spam and there is the link spam. Term spam, you can think of it as it's very similar to the email spam filtering, right? Basically, we would like to identify what are the terms, what are the words that correspond to spam. And for every web page, we would like to automatically say whether it contains a set of uh, those words and filter out the web page. Combating link spam, however, is, is more, more, ex more expensive or more tricky. The idea here is basically that we would want to detect or blacklist a set of s graph structures on the web that look like spam funnels. In particular, um, what is the problem here is that kind of this links, this leads to another war where if you would have such a filter that would try to identify structures that look like spam farms, is that then spammers would try to hide themselves and we would have to update that back blacklist and everything would go back and forth. So we need a more universal solution. So the more universal solution is called uh, trust rank. And in its basic idea, trust rank is simply a topic specific page rank with a teleport set to a trusted set of web pages. Right? So when I say, for example, trusted set of web pages, this would be web pages to which, to which we trust and that are not likely to be hacked or farmed. So for example, .edu domains or um, um, from non-US schools would be such a, such a way um, to identify a good set of trust web pages. So let's think about this a bit, uh, a bit more and see what is the idea. So basically the, the idea behind the trust rank is this is the notion of approximate isolation, where the idea is that it's rare for a good page to point to a bad page, right? It's very rare that a good legitimate page would point to spam. So the idea is that we want to select a set of seed pages from the web that we trust, that they are good, and then we would want to compute some kind of similarity or importance or proximity of all the other web pages on the web to this, to this uh, trusted set. And now if a, a, some other web page is legitimate, then it will be close to the trusted set of web pages. Of course, what we are um, depending on here is that we have some oracle, right? Some human to identify good trustworthy set of web pages. And, um, and of course, that the idea is that web spam pages are not in this web, in this set. Of course, this is a very expensive task because a user would have to go or a human would have to go through and do, this, uh, do these labels. So in some sense, we want to make this set of seed uh, trusted web pages as small as possible. So the idea is the following. What we basically we'll be doing is we are doing the trust propagation. So basically we have a, a subset of good seed pages that we identify as good as we will call them trusted pages. And then we perform, as I mentioned before, the topic sensitive page rank with the teleport set to the trusted pages. What this really means is that now basically we are propagating trust across the links of the graph. Right? And the trust can take value between 0 and 1, the same way as the, as the page rank score. So one possible way to identify spam, spam would be the following. We take the set of trusted web pages, we compute the personalized or topic specific page rank score with the teleport set being the set of trusted um, web pages. And now what we do is we compute the page rank score of every other page on the graph. And if the, if the page rank score of some page on the, on the web graph is smaller than some given threshold, then we go and cut that page away from, the, from our uh, data set and we say that that corresponds to spam. The problem with this method though is that basically we go and cut away all the web pages that have low page rank scores with respect to the trusted set. And now, of course, some web page on the web can have a low page rank score because this web page is new and, and um, has just been born, or this web page can have a low page rank score because it's spam. So the question is, can we, why is this a good idea? And maybe can we later improve on this idea? So let's first talk about why is this idea of personalized page rank score uh, fr uh, from a given trusted set of web pages a good idea to detect link spam. So first this notion is that we have this notion of trust attenuation, where the degree of trust conferred by a trusted page decreases with the distance from that page in the graph, right? So kind of farther away a given page is from the, from the trusted set of pages, the lower, the lower the trust it receives will be. And another important notion that also works in our favor is the notion of trust splitting, right? Where the larger the number of outlinks from a page, the less scrutiny a page author gives to each outlink. In a sense, what this means is that 
if a page has lots of trust but then has lots of outlinks, then this trust kind of gets uh, split into these small chunks and distributed over um, over the target pages, right? And this is exactly what is happening in the topic-specific page rank with the trust, um, trusted set of web pages being the teleport set. So now let's quickly discuss how do we go in practice to pick a seed set. Picking a seed set, we have kind of two conflicting considerations. In some sense, we would want to make the seed set to be as small as possible. Why as small as possible? Because um, uh, human labeling web pages as trusted or not is very expensive, so we want to use as little of human time as possible. On the other hand, we would like, in some sense, to be the seed set to be as big as possible because we want to cover all the good pages uh, on the web. So in, in a sense, ideally, we would like to put every non-spam page into our seed set. But that would mean the seed set is, is huge. So the question is, how do we balance out these two kind of competing or con conflicting uh, goals? The idea is the following, right? Um, for example, imagine that we want to select a seed set of k pages. One idea would be, for example, that we pick the k pages on the web according to the page rank, and the hope is that this, the top small fraction of web pages on the web are really the, the truly important pages on the web, and we, we label those as the seed set. Another, another idea that I briefly mentioned before is that we use a set of trusted domains whose membership is controlled by some um, trusted organization. So for example, .edu, .mil, or .gov domains, these are, the, these are the domains that not just everyone can, can register. So all the pages in these domains, we would trust them to be good pages and that are not spammy and don't, spa don't point to other spammy pages. So one way to create a trusted set of web pages would simply be to take all the web pages at these domains. What is also interesting now is that we can actually take our initial idea of identifying web spam and extend it a bit. And we will extend it by creating this notion of spam mess, right? So the idea is the following. We will use the trust rank as a, as a model and start with a, good, a set of good trusted pages and propagate the trust. But now we will flip our um, reasoning and we will kind of view, use two con complementary views. Our goal will kind of be to ask what fraction of page, page rank comes from the spam pages, right? So what we would like to do is not to ask how, what is your proximity to the trusted part of the web, but we would like to say what fraction or estimate, what fraction of page rank score um, of a given page comes from the spam. Right? So in practice, we don't know the answer to this question, but um, we need to estimate it. So the way we can think about this is the following. We can think that we have our web page that we are interested in here as a red circle. We have a trusted set of web pages, and we have the full web. And our goal is to estimate what fraction of um, page rank score of our red node here comes from the spam pages. So what we can do is proceed as follows. We can first go and compute r sub p, where p is our red, red node, where r sub p is simply the page rank of our node p. And then we can also compute the r plus of p, which is the page rank of the same node where the teleport was done to the trusted set of web pages, right? And now we can say that the spam mass of a given web page is simply r p minus r, r plus uh, p. What does this mean basically is we say we will compute the page rank score of a page uh, using the simple page rank where the teleportation is um, uniform. We will also compute the page rank score of a page where, where we always um, travel from this trusted set of web pages. And now if a web page is, is really spam, then this difference will be high, right? Basically, there is a lot of other web pages on the web that we don't trust that really boost the importance um, of that page. So this way, we can, com we can define the notion of a spam mess of a of a page, which is simply the ratio of the overall page rank score of the page and the, the amount of spam mass that that page receives. And this way, we, would, we could go and all the pages that have this spam mass uh, fraction high, we would uh, proclaim these pages as spam and remove them uh, from, the, from our web 
corpus. And this idea is, is better than the first solution to our problem uh, because here the, the question whether a, a page is spam or not does not depend on the absolute value of its page rank score, but kind of it depends on the relative value when we compare how much page rank score of a page comes from the trusted part of the web and how much of its page rank comes from the untrusted part of the web. And the ratio between these two quantities tell us how spammy is a web page.